Bengu Yabara works from the MCA collection, focuses on the dynamics and diversity of art practice by Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander artists. Bengu Yabara refer to the, what is commonly known as the Sydney language. Bengu meaning to make or to do, and Yabara meaning now, acknowledge the traditional owners of country where the MCA is now located. The exhibition primarily focuses on the artist's practice in terms of uh, how, how they wish to define their practice and also obviously the diversity and dynamics of, of art practice by Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander artists. The easiest way to do that is focus on the work um, and the intentions of the artist that's creating the work and not so much on applying labels such as the word Aboriginal into the exhibition title for example or having a having a focus Aboriginal collection exhibition which isn't really accurate in describing the diversity of practice of artists which you see in the exhibition. Works from our Maningrida and Ramagini collection have been an important aspect of our collecting policy here at the Museum of Contemporary Art. A number of works which you see here are by important um, artists that have developed um, a national and international recognition and their art is very much connected to, to land, to cultural practice and uh, stories and customs and uh, cultures that are, that are connected to those specific sites. Brian Ninirunga's sculpture, Rajak Baramandi, which he created with the late Tony Daniela, is a great example of the use of natural materials. Uh, the work is painted in ochre, which really brings out, it almost shimmers uh, in, in effect, with, in visual quality. Um, and together with the catfish eel sculpture created by Mika Walgalba, really, I think, adds to, to the strength of the carving and, and sculpture practice of artists from the Ramagini community. Destiny Deacon is a Cuckoo Mur artist from North Queensland, now based in Melbourne. Her work deals with Aboriginalia, Aboriginal kitsch, and also focuses um, very much uh, from the aspect of the satirical. Forcing images is really interesting because she kind of deals with labels and constructs of um, Aboriginal identity. The two people which you see in there are the artist's niece and nephew, um, brother and sister. And so she's also, I suppose, uh, relating to a more general Aboriginal experience where there are, um, you know, Aboriginal people come in many colours. Um, but, uh, you know, it's it's something that a lot, of, a lot of people can relate to in that experience and I suppose that element of forced into images being forced into images is I suppose referring to, to those labels and those, those contracts that are applied to people at times. Fiona Foley explores personal history, sexuality and Indigenous presence or the lack of in her work Bachelor Woman. Uh, focusing on research that the artist did of her people, um, the Bachelor people of Thongin or Kagari, which is what Fraser Island is now known. The artist researched uh, some historical photographs of the 1900s of the Bachelor people and was uh, interested in discovering that there was only one particular image of a woman from her country. So her work is very much a redefinition of Indigenous presence um, in the historical context, but also brought into the contemporary. She has a name, she is in control of the image, and also as uh, you know, aspects of beauty, and um, in a sense very much redefines the way Aboriginal women um, historically have been portrayed in historical documentation and photo photography.
When you come into the Bengal Yabara uh, works from the MCA collection space, you're immediately uh, drawn to this particular work. The black uh, space which surrounds Mary's uh, fellow yam vine really brings, brings the work forward and it's an incredible contrast of uh, artistic practice when you see Mary's incredibly delicate and poetic and striking uh, feather yam vine with practicing artists um, uh, work such as Tracy Moffat's adventure series and the work of David Malangi de Maringu and Fiona Foley and Johnny Bullenbullen and Destiny Deacon and it's just an incredible poetic piece which really draws your attention down to it. You, you know this incredible presence of, of the work, you know, it's um, this type of work is, is related directly to ceremony and, um, and exchange ceremony that, uh, that occurs um, uh, in the artist community in Ramangini. The, the actual work itself is um, uh, cockatoo feather, but um, the artist's um, intentions in terms of um, what she was creating um, in this work, Ikura, uh, this particular work is such a poetic uh, and powerful um, example of, uh, of ephemeral, ephemeral artwork and uh, also that of Mary Gabroise. Tracy Moffat's Adventure Series uh, is a new acquisition shown for the very first time in the museum's collection. Inspired by the comic strip she, she read during her youth, including The Flying Doctor, and the TV series The Rovers. This, this body of work was created in 2003 in Brisbane, the artist's same town. As you can see, the artist placed herself in the work and it's a great example of the diversity of art practice within the context of the exhibition. Um, the work is meant to be viewed, in essence, as, as a comic strip, um, read from left to right. There are a number of narratives and ways that uh, the viewer can freely interpret what is happening within, within the body of work and um, I suppose the, the, the interesting I suppose, relationships that you can see within the aesthetics of each image.